freedom. Today I wanted to talk to you about time savings. A lot of YouTubers and uh, digital content creators, they seem to have the same problem. They just don't know how to manage everything. Now, I am by no means an expert in managing social media brands or you know, may maybe a little, but I would like to give you advice. Advice that served me well in growing my channel, my previous channel, from zero to 10,000 subscribers in under a year. And some previous channels from zero to 8,000 in a few months. And advice that has helped me work with other creators in growing their channel by thousands, tens of thousands, and in a couple of cases, even a few hundred thousand subscribers. And it's time management. Time management is key. You've got a lot to do when it comes to worrying about your channel. You've got to worry about social media. You've got to worry about your overall brand. You've got to interact with your fans and or followers. You have to worry about your render times. You have to worry about when you're going to record and making sure to schedule that, scheduling your videos to go out, all kinds of stuff. So here is my advice to you. Look for any dead time that you can cut out. This dead time could be, for instance, rendering. Can you render many videos in bulk while you sleep? If so, that could help you. If you're in a position where, say, you go to school or work most days of the week, imagine how much easier your life would be if you could record, say, four or five videos, and then render those same videos while you're sleeping then you go ahead and you upload those while you're at school or work. Now you may not want those to go live or public, but you can set them as unlisted or private or schedule them for later. I used that strategy on my channel and I was able to go from being able to barely get out one video per day to being able to boost my productivity so that I had, when things were in full swing, a grand total of three videos going out per day. And I was able to also get myself to a point where I had videos on the channel waiting to be released and I had 30 days worth of content. Now if you do the math, 30 days worth of content, three videos a day, that's like 90 videos, I think. I can't math, but that's a lot of video. Wait, actually, should I do the math on that? Hold on, hold on. 30 times. Thirty times three. That, that is ninety. I'm an idiot. All right, so we're back, and yes, I did the math on that. Thirty times three is indeed ninety. Now that we've done the math and made me look like an idiot, I, I want to share this with you, not for some you know reason of like I'm bragging about what I used to be able to accomplish, but because I was in a very similar situation to some or a lot of you. Because I was, you know, I would let's say come home from work, I would record a video sit there and edit it and render it, by the time I was done, it was time to go to bed so I can go to work and do it all over again. With this new process, what I was able to do is I was able to record three videos in quick succession, then I was able to edit either two or all three and just do the edits and render them while I was sleeping. Then instead of using my really slow internet connection at the time to upload and have to sit there and not be able to do much else, I set them so when I got up in the morning to upload as unlisted. I would then schedule them to go out different times and all that stuff, but it gave me much more time to be able to do all the other things that I needed to be able to do, such as interact on social media and also promote my videos. That's another thing that YouTubers often forget that they have to do. A lot of people are under the impression that they have to get someone else who's bigger or you know, has more of a following to promote their videos. This simply isn't the case. Jumping on the right hashtags at the right time, being able to jump into relevant discussions that you in communities that you're a part of, this is huge as far as being able to help you promote your channel. But sadly, it also takes time to make sure that your content is going to have the biggest possible effect. These are just thoughts from somebody who's been doing this for the past, oh goodness, over 10 years now. Take it with a grain of salt if you will. Anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, Freedom Family.
Thank you for watching another Freedom video. If you'd like to connect with us on our socials, be sure to check out, whoa, our Facebook, whoa, sh our Twitter, whoa, Facebook groups, whoa, of course, our support Twitter, whoa, and of course, the forums, whoa, I am so going to drop these. Anyways, thanks for watching, whoa.